Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tammy and you guys are watching Tammy Tech. And today is going to be a very special episode. Today, we're going to be talking about coding. More specifically, I'm going to be doing a coding review of the Zio platform. Now, you've probably heard of Zio by now. If you want you to learn code, code, then go to Zio. Hey, hey, hey. Full-stack developer if course you want to Zio. Code, this is an online course school. And I'm going to be documenting my journey. So make sure you follow me to find out. And if you also want to check out the prices at Zio, click the first link in my bio. With Zio, Let's just jump back into it. So, if you didn't know, Zayo is a South African based coding academy hosted by a bunch of brilliant software developers in Centen. They are awesome. I've been dealing and talking to a bunch of the guys who work there. They're an incredible team of people. But this video is basically going to be a critique and a basically a high level overview of what their platform is, what it offers, how it works whether or not it's worth it, whether or not it's a scam, a whole bunch of that jazz. So I'm going to be taking you through my experience through the Zayo platform and again, just the basics of what it entails and what's surrounding the platform itself. So Zayo as a platform has five courses which they offer and I'm going to get into prices just now, but these are namely the computer literacy course, the coding literacy course, front end web development, back end web development and full stack web development. And again, I'm going to be explaining what these are a little bit later on, but let me break it down to what each one basically entails and what it offers. Computer literacy is basically the basics of how to operate a computer. Coding literacy is basic introduction into what is coding, how it works, a lot of that jazz, but I'm pretty familiar with that myself. So I personally jumped into full stack web development which is a combination of back-end and front-end web development. Front-end is basically making a website look nice. Back-end is making a website have functionality. It's the bare bones and the muscle and all the nice internal organs that make up the body, while front-end is the skin and the nice eyes and the eye color and the blonde hair. It's all the stuff that make the appearance look good and basically make Rihanna look like Rihanna. If that makes sense uh hopefully i don't get cancelled that was someone someone in the comments is probably gonna be after me it's fine but let's now get into pricing so they have again since it's five different courses they have five different prices and the coding and computer literacy are completely free they literally cost nothing they're zero rand so i would highly suggest that you start with that if you are unfamiliar with coding or the basics of computers Next, we're going to talk about front-end and back-end development. These individual courses are 4,950 Rand each. So front-end is 4,950 and back-end is 4,950. And then we have the Cam de la Cam, which is the full stack web development course. So they in here, I'm going to get to what they teach you just now, but you have the full stack web development course. That is 6,950. Now, that is a... Like, if you're starting off and you don't really have that kind of cash, that is a lot of money. But the nice thing about Zayo is that you can actually pay over a period of time. So if you're done with the course, you can pay in installments to get your certificate, which I'll talk about just now. But you can pay in installments or you can pay all at once. It's completely up to you. They make everything super accessible for you as the user. It's genuinely fantastic and amazing. But let's talk about that certificate I mentioned earlier. After you finish the course, there are a bunch of benefits. With Zayo, after you're done, they actually give you a guaranteed internship. Uh, hi there, this is editing Tami. I said internship, what I meant to say was interview. I keep getting the words confused. It's intern, it's interview. I skipping those now. It's interview. I meant to say interview. It's guaranteed interview. But if you finish the course, you'll be skilled enough to pass it and get a job, so you'll be okay. Which is genuinely amazing. It's one of the key, key elements that they have in their pathway and in their timeline that make it such a compelling, useful platform in order to get started with. And they actually give you an NQF Level 5 certified accreditation, so you can basically add that to your university qualifications and say that no, 
I am like a fully accredited, certified web developer and software engineer. Now, what do they teach? So Zayo has, again, computer literacy and coding literacy, but for the most part, they teach you the basic fundamentals of web development. So that's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those three are the foundation, foundational pillars for basically everything built on the web. Every single website that you've ever visited uses those three elements. At the very least, they use HTML and CSS with JavaScript maybe sprinkled on top. But from using those three, they go into much deeper details where they teach you things like React and Node.js and a bunch of other different frameworks and elements that you can basically use to build a foundation. Now, with me, I've been trying to learn Python, for instance. And yes, people do say Python is a very easy programming language, but it is still difficult to wrap your head around if you don't really have a path to follow. And you could probably find one out there, but I feel like from learning HTML and CSS and currently now learning JavaScript, I can migrate to Python significantly easier. Like I'm starting to understand some of the concepts that they had in Python that I was learning from, um, so like from sources such as Free Code Camp, and now I'm learning it significantly easier because I'm learning JavaScript with Zio. So it's great. But let's quickly jump into the platform itself. So if you quickly look here, this is the homepage. You can see right there. And I'm currently, like this was very inadvertent. I took the coding literacy today completely by accident. And one thing I love about this is that they genuinely show you your progress bar. So this would be excellent if I could like see my progress bar for the current course I'm taking and see where I need to like pop up. Um, with the course I'm taking, again, I'm a mining engineering student, you guys probably know this, but it's like, you just figure it out, right? So you can genuinely see your progress bar and see how far you've gotten. So I still have quite a long way to go. Um, yeah, like things like TypeScript, React, a bunch of other things. But again, one other thing that I forgot to mention is that with Zio, it's a project-based learning like academy. So you get to build some of the most popular and biggest applications out there. So they start off really simply and very like basic with the Tesla landing page. And if you go there, like you'll see that I'm currently at 72% completion for this. I'm probably going to finish it by the end of day. And you can see all the individual components there. So that's what it is. And then what you learn, the basics of it, HTML, CSS, building a landing page, HTML anchor tags, HTML lists, inserting images, nav bars, and stuff like that. And the person who's teaching this, Akil, great guy, he now has a beard. Uh, it looks absolutely sick. I don't know if he's ever going to see this. If he does, well done. But yeah, he's amazing. One thing I also just need to put out there is that if you are going to learn this stuff, then I highly suggest getting a notepad and writing down what you learn. It makes things way, way easier. So if you check out from here, I've been like basically just capturing notes. This is the CSS box method and stuff like that. So it really helps to revise these stuff, especially if you're just like off hours and you don't want to learn anything. You can just like quickly read through your notes to see if you remember anything. Because one thing I learned about basically coding itself is that it's a very practice focused task. So you really want to practice as much as you can. Uh, okay, I hope you don't mind. I switched the camera angle just to keep things a little bit spicy, but this is basically the web page. If you like just opened up your dashboard and you just signed up. Um, yeah, here it is, start your coding career. And these are the coding courses I was talking about earlier, computer literacy, coding literacy, full stack web development, front end engineer, and then back end engineer. I would personally suggest full stack web dev because it has so much, like it has so much detail and so much compact information that's distilled in such a very efficient way that it's genuinely worth the price. I probably think they're underselling it, right? Because compared to the competition, this is like basically a steal. But yeah, again, I, I think they're underselling it. I probably would pay a little bit more, but that's just me. Don't tell them I told you that. 
Um, and then here, yeah, 83% course completion, 22% increase in salary per year. And then these are a bunch of testimonials that they have from people who have been web developers and have worked with the platform, who work for different companies like Amazon now, Yoko, etc. So, Zio course qualities. So, project based learning, like I mentioned, job focused, uh, self paced, which is great because ugh, me and time management are still trying to work each other out. Certification, again, I mentioned that very affordable, 10% of the price of a bootcamp in South Africa. And these are the companies that you can get to work for once you've graduated. So FNB, Momentum, Synthesis, Yoko, Amazon, BCX, WIPO, a bunch of different other companies. And then, yeah, so you can basically ask your frequently asked questions. If you didn't know what FAQ stands for, now you do. So you can ask your frequently asked questions here. And I'm just going to show that to you. But yeah, more than 10,000 students have who have registered to learn who have registered to learn to call your Yeah, this is this. There isn't really much to say. They're great. Okay, I highly suggest them. Um, yes, though, this is a sponsored post. I do need to mention that this is a sponsored post. But with that being said, I value my autonomy and like ethical powers above all else because without that I wouldn't be a creator. And I do say this with complete honesty. Even if they didn't pay me, I would still say all I'm saying now. It's typically probably because I'm a very good person and I like saying nice things because I was raised better. Not to say you're saying not nice things, it's not raised, but I digress. But even if they weren't paying me, I would still suggest that this is a very good platform. I don't have any issues with them at all. Like the platform is great. No, actually not. Now that I do mention it, I do have one serious issue. Um, hopefully they address it. And again, in order for me to keep my eth my ethics, I'm going to post this video without them seeing it. Um, you, you guys are going to see this the same time they are. So again, Nothing but nice things to say except for one thing. They don't have Python. I, I feel like they should have Python. It's probably one of the... It's a standard by now, right? So that's the only pet peeve I have with them that they should uh, probably offer Python as a course. But beyond that, uh, the platform is great, man. But yeah, that's been it. This has been Tummy Tech. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you want to join Zayo, you can do it with the link in my description. Yeah, leave any comments if you have any ask, if you have any questions, I will answer them as soon as I can. But this has been it. Uh, shout out to you guys for making it this far, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.